better than other here, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial which is very, very cool. If you have a Mac, make sure to watch this video. However, this does not work on Windows. Um, well, actually some of it does, but I would only watch this video if you have a Mac. So basically, by the end of this tutorial, if you watch to the end, you can get your mouse looking like this, which is very, very cool. As you can see, mine is a Pikachu with a fire trail. And if you um, just want one, these are two separate things. One of them lets me make my mouse like Pikachu. The other one gives me this trail and is also very customizable for the trail. You can choose between a few different trails. And for my mouse, you can pretty much make it anything. I just chose Pikachu because who doesn't like Pikachu? But anyway, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you is very quick and it is how to get the trail. So what you wanna do is you wanna open the app store and search an application, a application called iCursor. Once you get that, which I already have installed, in the upper right, you'll see this little symbol. Now, as you can see, you can pause it, which I have mine paused right now. So then it goes away and then I'll unpause it and I have my trail. So this is very simple right here. Basically, there's just a list of them and you can basically just click ones um, and change it so this is super soak to gold star so basically there's a big um, or semi big selection of them I'm right now using lighter but that is very cool and you can toggle it on and off so the next thing you want to do you need to download from a website which I'll leave in the description now let me just pull this up it will bring you to here what you want to do when you go there scroll down a little bit to this version there may be a um, better version out by the time you watch this video but right now I'm running um, 0 0.0.5 the version of it then you want to download the mousecape.zip the button is right there now I'm gonna delete it because you all because I already have it downloaded but basically, um, it will come, there is a, a picture for the application. I just changed it to look like a mouse because you customize your or, or cursor. Um, I will have another tutorial um, in a later video on how to customize what your applications look like. That is very easy. So basically, what you want to do is open that. By default, this is just going to be empty. You're not going to have anything here. Now, I have put some stuff in here so as you can see I have several different things I can very quickly change into and you so you can um, switch between them very quickly as you can see I have a troll face right here but I guess I'll use this mouse right here so what you want to do to get one is so I just have mine by the names of the alphabet you can really name yours whatever um, but, so, I'm going to add one. Oops. You, so, what you want to do is go to File, then press New Cape. But for some reason, it's not working. Oh, there it was working. They were just all coming in. I did not see them. Um. So, yeah. So, what you want to do is select it, then press Edit. Then I'm going to name mine N. You can really name yours whatever. Then you want to press the little plus button right there. It will make a new thing right here called unknown. This part is very important. You need to change the type to arrow. Then you want to go to this website, which will also be in the description. And you can also make them custom to yourself. Or by your, like you can make custom ones yourself but this website has several different file types the main ones are .cur, .cur, and .any for animation um so basically this will not work with a .any um file so some of these will not work because they're .anys but what you want but what you want to do is go find one you like and then for example if i want the paper plane cursor as you can see, some of these are dot annies, which means 
um, there are like animations, but this does not support animations that I know of. So what you want to do is if I want this, or maybe I'll take this one, I'll click the little download button right here. It will download. Then I want to go back to the editing area here. Um, do you want to save my changes? Then this part is very easy. I will just take this, drag it into here, drag that to there, that to there, that to there. And as you can see, this is um, a little bit off, but basically the hotspot, which you can see is that red little dot, is it is basically where you actually click. So, for example, the hotspot for this red mouse was right at the like um, top. For example, if I put my hotspot at the bottom of the mouse, the actual clicking part would be at the bottom of the mouse. So basically you want to put it to the top or the tip of the mouse always. So you can change the coordinates of the hotspot, which I'm going to be doing right now. So I just put it like five coordinates to the right and three down. I might put to the left one. So you can see right there that little red thing is the hotspot. So you can see it's right there. So that's sort of where I'll be clicking. Then I just want to exit out, make sure you save. Then all you need to do is just click with that. And as you can see, I have my paper airplane mouse, which is really cool, which might look cool with some super soap. So basically, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like um, and maybe a comment in the comment section down below of what you thought. Um, make sure to stay tuned for more um, Mac videos and Minecraft videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all later.